The week was finally over. Students everywhere were letting out sighs of relief. How many days was it? Five? It certainly felt like it was more than five. I was exhausted and I desperately needed a break. Juggling my studies and football practice was proving to be more arduous than I thought it would. Football was my life. I lived to play ball. There was nothing I wanted more than to go pro. I knew it was unlikely for someone like me. But even if I had a 1% chance of making it, I would be a fool if I ignored that chance. My parents said I needed to focus on getting a real job with a proper career. But I believed in myself. And after all, I had nothing to lose. Everyone was buzzing on Friday. Tomorrow was Jay's house party. Jay threw the wildest parties at a super-sized mansion of a home and if you didn't get invited, you were deemed irrelevant. He was so arrogant, his last name might as well have been Gatsby. I received my invite via text message at the last possible moment before the party began. The house started filling up at around 10, but I was there an hour ago, I mean, the invites at 9 o'clock. And And Jay? Well, Jay showed up last. And knowing him, he showed up with a briefcase full of liquor for everyone.
Before the party could begin, he brought out some champagne. The booze was all free, courtesy of Jay's father's long hours at the law firm. Or was it a bank? <laughs> no one really cared. It didn't take long for the party to get going. Music blasting through the speakers was obnoxious, but everyone seemed to be having a good time. The lights were dim. Pizza was set out in one corner. Everyone was drunk in less than an hour and the dance floor was packed. I found Jay alone in another room. I just assumed he liked to stay away from his own parties. I sat down next to him and asked him what the occasion was for the champagne. This was the first time I'd ever spoken to him. He looked at me and said, "Who needs an occasion to have fun?" I walked out with him. Before I could leave, he offered me a drink. It tasted terrible, but it helped. I met a beautiful girl. She wore a tight dress and high heels. I remember looking at her like a parched grain of sand in a desert is mesmerized by a passing rain cloud. Then again, it wasn't difficult to talk to girls at parties because they all love football players. We danced together and made out in the bathroom. I was having the time of my life. We played drinking games. I was on a hot streak at beer pong and everyone was clapping. It felt incredible. All the kids pulled out their shiny iPhones. Pictures and videos were all over Instagram. People who weren't invited were probably looking at them and cursing their luck. Time flew by and I didn't even notice. Maybe it was the alcohol. Maybe it was the sheer adrenaline. There were only a few of us left at around 4 a.m. And Jay asked us if we wanted to go for a drive in one of his sports cars. He didn't have to ask twice.
We drove around the city. No one around to try and stop us. I watched the street lights pass by. Little flashes transient in my mind as we sped by. My head hung out the window and I felt the wind on my face, which was flushed with color and displayed a wide, goofy grin. that very moment drunk out of my mind in the front of a pacific blue bmw i felt infinite would have been crazy if any of this actually happened but it didn't i missed that party and i spent the evening practicing free kicks alone at the courts i would do it again